TV's Good Life. Well, did you know that more than 5 million teeth are knocked out every year? What do you do if it happens to you? Well, our next guest is joining me, Dr. Stefan Zweig. He's the president of the American Association of Entodontists. Good morning, doctor. How are you this morning? Good morning, Ronnie. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, so let's just get to it. What do we do if we do get a tooth knocked out? Well, the first thing to realize is that these teeth can be potentially saved and the time is of the essence. So you want to be able to replace the tooth into the mouth as soon as possible. The first thing you need to do is find the tooth. You're gonna to wanna to pick it up holding the crown of the tooth and staying away from the root. You wanna make sure that the tooth is clean. Uh, you wanna rinse it with a little bit of water or milk, and then you wanna replace it into the mouth. Um, and then after that, you wanna see a dentist to make sure that you've done that properly and to stabilize the tooth. And then after that, you're probably gonna to wanna to see an endodontist um, who is a specialist uh, in saving teeth and in doing root canal because many of these te teeth end up needing root canal. Well, you, you mentioned root canal. What advice do you have for those people that are told, hey, you need a root canal or hey, you need a tooth extraction? Sure. So the thing to realize is that a root canal is a procedure that's designed to save teeth as opposed to extracting teeth. And we know that many teeth are extracted unnecessarily because people are in pain and it's just sort of the, you know, the first thing that can be done. But these teeth can actually be saved. So if you're told that you need a tooth extraction, you should ask the dentist if there are any alternatives to actually saving the tooth. And a lot of times the alternative is to do root canal. And endodontists are specialists in doing root canals. They receive two years of additional training over their dental training to learn the technology and the intricacies and the expertise of doing root canals. Dr. Zwag, why is oral um, health care so vital and so very important? Oral health care is so important because we know that oral, the oral uh, health is you know, is tied to your overall health. And that happens on several different levels. We know that when people look at you, they look at your smile and they judge you by that and it can affect your livelihood and it can affect the way you relate with other people. Secondly, when you have bad oral health uh, and you have broken teeth, it makes it difficult to eat and chew and that can affect your nutrition, which is gonna affect your overall health. Wow. So, and then lastly, we're finding, yeah, so, yeah, we're also finding, yeah, go ahead. Well, so poor, I mean, so this, this, just taking care of your teeth helps your overall health, like, I mean, every aspect of it. It, it sure does. And we're also finding um, connections between oral health and other diseases in your body, such as diabetes, heart disease, and even oral cancer. Wow. So, Dr. Zweig, where can our viewers go for more information? So, the American Association of Endodontists has a website. It's www.findmyendodontist.com. And on that website, you're going to find information about how to save teeth, um, what endodontists do, who they are. And also, it's going to give you the opportunity to enter a search engine where you can actually find an endodontist near you. Wonderful. And we encourage people to visit that, that, that website and get the um, valuable information that we have. Well, that is wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Zweig, for being with me this morning. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. You are very welcome. All right, friends, we're going to wrap up today's show right after this. Don't go anywhere.